All right, kids, Mr. Dorfler here, giving you a really quick video for the uh, lab for chapter two. It's called Beanbag Isotope Lab. So what I want you to do um, is a few things. By Friday, October 23rd, I want you to have completed uh, the pre-lab, the post-lab, along with your data table. And that's what I'm going to help you with today is your data table. Okay. There's no real experiments that have to go on right now with this lab. It's just designed to um, develop concepts and also refresh concepts from earlier in the chapter. We've been doing this chapter for almost a month now. And the, the concept of isotopes and isotopic abundance, those were way back in the first half of the chapter. So kind of bringing everything back um, full circle here. Uh, getting us prepared for our test, which we're doing uh, at the end of this week here. <clears throat> so the premise of this lab is we've discovered a new element called the beanbag element, and it has um, three isotopes, okay, or, or what we say, three uh, variations um, of the same element, all right? And so here's how we represent them, okay? So first, right here. Actually, I'm going to flip this around just a little bit. There we go. <clears throat> so we have this isotope represented by navy beans. We have this isotope represented by pinto beans. And this isotope represented by kidney beans. All right. It's a very quick procedure. Um, before we get into that, I do want you to... Um, Oh, I'm sorry, I lost track, train of thought there. I do want you to read over the background of this lab uh, before you do any pre or post lab questions, okay? It'll be a huge, huge help. All right, <clears throat> so we got to set up our data table. And so I'm going to help you set up the data table, and then whenever you get ready to do the post lab questions, then you can uh, do that yourself. So first off, we need to determine the number of each type of um, isotope. And as you'll see here, I have written in the little margin the type of beans, just so I can keep it straight as to which beans go with which isotope. Okay, so the first one I labeled as navy. You could do either one. Um, but I pre-counted these, so there are eight uh, navy beans. So um, what you need to do is I want you to write down this same information that I'm doing, okay? Uh, next, kidney beans, okay? I counted 37 kidney beans. And for my pinto beans, I counted 42. Okay, next, what we want to do is we need to take the mass of all three of these. And so I'm going to turn this on. And eventually, so I'm going to put an empty weigh dish on here. And then we hit this button to tear it. And really, tearing just means it's zeroing out the balance. Okay, so I'm going to put my navy beans on here. And I see that. These add up to 10.16 grams. And when I put the G up here just so we know that all these are in grams, okay? Or you could write it down in each one of these. It's no big deal. But it's just easier if you do a, a G to represent the unit of measurement up here, and you don't have to worry about it down here, okay? <clears throat> Moving on back to the making sure, making sure it's zeros, okay? Kidney beans, we have 23... Point zero. Oh, I'm being sneaky. Oh, come on. Zero grams. So 23.00 grams. And lastly, we have our pinto beans. Sorry, I, I was quiet because I was trying not to breathe on this. So it wouldn't change the answer on us again. 14.69 grams. All right. So really, that's all the data that we had to collect for this lab. Now, I will give you a few hints. So after you've got your data collected here, or written down, again, you're going to be using the same data, 
that I provided with you. I want you to go back, read the background, okay? There I am. I want you to go back and read the background before you do the pre-lab. Once you've read the background, answer the pre-lab, and then proceed into uh, completing the results table and the rest of the pro, uh, post lab questions. Now, I do have some hints for you regarding your uh, results table. So, okay, uh, darken this a little bit. All right, so for the results table, your average mass, <clears throat> how you solve that, okay? Again, that's number one, post lab questions. Number one, you take the number, or I'm sorry, you take your total mass for each isotope. So here, 10.16, and divide it by the number of atoms you have. That gives you the average mass for Navy. Do the same thing for kidney. Take your mass, total mass you have, divided by 37. That gives you the average mass of a single isotope. And then over here, percent abundance. What you're going to do for this column is... First, you need to figure out how many beans we had in total, okay? So you're going to sum these up. You will then take, for instance, navy beans. You will take eight, the number of navy beans you have present, divided by the overall sum of beans, and then multiply it by 100. That will give you your percent abundance for each type of bean, okay? Okay. And that's it. Um, that's the gist of this uh, lab here is to practice using concepts, practice doing some math, and then um, so be it. Sorry, um, I'm getting distracted here from uh, my an audience over here. Anyway, if you have any questions, feel free, but this isn't due until the uh, October 23rd. Uh, just If you get it done sooner, feel free to email it to me. Um, other than that, uh, I'll see you all later.